Hey guys, it's Steve from the All Electric family. Today we're going to find out what is inside an EVSE charger. Let's get to it. So the reason that I'm doing this is because I recently got this charger from a company and asked me to do a review on it. I did a review on it. It seemed perfectly fine, but it didn't go into depth with this charger. And it come to find out it's not that great of a charger. Tom Logney from State of Charge did a great review on it. And one specific thing that I remember with it is he submerged it in water because you're supposed to while it's charging it just short it out because it leaked in there. And pretty simple to see when you bend it back like that you you can see it um he showed that on his video i'll link that in the description below so you can go watch that but anyway so i the idea of doing these reviews for these chargers was hey i get to test some chargers out and then i wanted to give them away but i don't really feel too comfortable giving some of these chargers away so i'm just gonna tear this one apart see what's inside I don't really know what this is going to entail, but let's just see what's inside. So we're going to start with the head of the charger. This is a J1772 charger, and so let's just take it apart. On this particular one, it just has two screws down at the head of it. All right, I don't really know what I'm looking at here, but <laughs> these appear to be all the prongs for the J1772, right when you uh, clip it in there. I think I really need to get this back part off so I can pull these out. And to do that, I am going to have to figure out how I'm going to get this back piece off because I believe once I do that, I'll be able to pull the cable back through there. Well, that didn't work. So I'm gonna take this outside, go get a drill bit and drill that out. So I'll be right back. All right, so I had to drill that out and what that entailed was it was just a metal thing that surrounded it that was holding that together. But I did a little bit of research. This is gonna show you how much I don't really know about these things. Um, this is a typical J1772. I took the uh, front of it off. So these are the um, line one and line two. So it's basically 120 volts coming through there. So when it's plugged into 240, then it, um, it takes both those lines and adds it up. And then this is the ground. And then these are proximity detector and something else. Basically uh, what that does is it will communicate to the car and to the charger on the car. And it will tell it um, when you're pulling it out so it can disconnect the power. That's my understanding of it. If you know more about that stuff, what these specifically do, please put that in the comments below. I'm gonna learn uh, with other people. I'm sure they don't know what's going on with this, but I'm gonna continue tearing this apart and let's see what's going on in there. So there, Outside of those five wires, there is another wire here, and I'm not 100% sure what that is. And so it's this one here. There's two of them. I know on this particular charger, there's supposed to be a temperature setting, so I don't know, or a temperature sensor, so it'll, sh you know, derate it if it's, um, you know, if it gets too hot, I don't know if that's what that is. I will try to figure that out further along in this uh, teardown of this. 
Aha, I think I know what it is. So on this specifically, this charger, it was touted to be able to open the Tesla charge port door when you press the actual button. And so I believe that's what's happening there because when I press down on this, it hits a, um, it uh, opens up a switch in there. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's kind of hard to see. But anyways, <clears throat> there's a little switch in there. When you press down on the handle, it actually opens that. Or when you press down on this thing here, it actually opens that up and releases a switch. Maybe that's on all of them and it shuts the actual charger off. I don't know, but I do know this specific charger was supposed to actually open up the charge port door on the Tesla. So once again, if you know the answer to that, <laughs> then you just go ahead and tell me. All right, let's continue uh, getting this thing taken apart. So one of these PC or CP uh, proximity detector or whatever the other one is, is just connected to the ground. So that's kind of interesting. So I am going to have to cut this off of here. I would like to try to get that switch out of there, but I don't know how to do that with, without totally cutting this apart. Yeah, so here we go. So this is that switch when you pressed this button, it lifted that locking mechanism for the J1772 and released that switch. So that somehow communicates uh, back to the charger is my guess um, and does something back there. But. Maybe I'll try looking some of this up, or you can just comment down below what the heck is going on there. So I'm trying to see what gauge of wire this is. 2.8 gauge wire. So it must be the two um, legs must be 8 gauge. Yeah, I can't really tell. It must, it must be copper, but I'm not really sure. I don't want to tell you. It kind of looks like they did a good job of like soldering it and crimping it. But once again, I am not a professional on this stuff. So I'm just learning right along with you. So decent insulation there, or not insulation, but pretty thick rubber there. <clears throat> okay, so we took apart the J1772 handle. Now let's take apart the main box. Well, maybe since this is supposed to be waterproof that they glued this together i'm not sure what with and so it's put together what appears to be well around here but once again <laughs> they're just totally exposed so obviously water could get in there pretty easy so they obviously need to fix that part of it I think the easiest thing for me to do is to cut along here and open this sucker up. So I'm going to go ahead and go do that and uh, I'll be right back. still got all my fingers. 
Okay, let's go back inside. All right. So I finally got this thing apart here. And so this is how it goes. And it opens up like that. It appears like if I would have peeled back some of this rubber stuff here, I would have found some screws that I could have uh, taken apart <laughs> and then it would have popped right off. But Okay. So this is, it must just be some sort of communication cables to the front screen there, you know, going back and forth. And then it comes into board here. And I'm assuming this is where all the stuff happens. So there must be some sort of, I don't know if that's a heat sensor there. I don't know, this thing's supposed to have a heat sensor in the base in this part. So I'm assuming that's what that is, but I guess I don't know the answer to it. And then there's supposed to be a temperature sensor in here too, which I don't know the answer to that one. Um, yeah, so the, the wires from the plug, the 1450 come in the top here, and then they screw down here. Looks like they're fairly good crimps in there and uh, they have some heat shrink on there. So separating those wires, which is pretty good. And I'll give you guys a close up of that. Um, the only other thing I can think that this is, is some sort of current tester that's actually measuring the amps, but I don't know, I'm not. That smart. <laughs> Sorry, I told you coming into this, I don't really know a whole lot about this stuff. Um, I just wanted to tear it apart and see what's going on inside there. So, if I'm able to actually tear this head apart and find some sort of temperature sensor or something like that in there, I'll go ahead and share that with you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it all looks pretty good, like outside of that, you know, I think this thing definitely would have been waterproof if they sealed it up around where these wires came into the actual unit, but it is not the case on this one. So I don't know if it does it. Yeah, it opens up there too. So, all right, well, too bad that they failed on that. Yeah, this was wrapped around both of the lines that are going in the main lines. Um, I think what this does is test the current that is going through how many amps. That was exiting out to the J1772, so. So yeah, here's the circuit board that actually goes in there. I don't really know what any of those components do. Where that one current tester or what, whatever you would call it, I know I'm not saying the correct word, but uh, it goes in right there, plugs in there. And then this goes to the communication, uh, must go to the, well, it communicates to the screen, probably powers it on, uh, this part of it. Plugs in there, you got a circuit board on the back. And yeah, I don't know. I kind of destroyed this thing, so no putting it back together and using it. <laughs> um, I don't know, let me know what else we can do uh, when taking these things apart, if that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. So um, 
These crimps look pretty good, actually. Uh, not that I'm an expert on any of that, but it appears like they, you know, soldered. No, they didn't solder these. Uh, they soldered them on the J1772 plug, the main lines coming in, line one and two. But on here, they didn't solder it. Uh, this end going to the 1450 and, and or this going to the actual J1772, so. All right, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions or anything, definitely leave them in the comments below. Maybe somebody else in the community will answer it. Um, like I said, if you wanna see me actually do more of these where I just tear them apart um, and see what's going on inside as I go along with it, you know, obviously I'm gonna learn more. I'm gonna research some more already on this one, but this does kind of bring this to an end. Uh, you know, the only other thing I could do is strip apart this head. So if you think that that would be interesting, I could figure out how to do that. But yeah, I appreciate you guys following along even when I do stupid stuff like this, but I just wanted to tear this charger apart because it didn't seem like it was that great of a charger. Um, once again, go watch Tom Logney at State of Charge. He does a great review of it. And when he submerged it in water, which is supposed to be waterproof, it came right through uh, here. Um, I don't know if it was both sides. It appeared like it would actually go into both sides. But, you know, the actual case looked like it was pretty well waterproof. So, all right, appreciate it guys. See you on the next one.